Hello and welcome back to RVing DIY Newbie to Pro. And as luck has it, something else broke in our motor coach. This time it was the sharp convection oven microwave. We were using it and it just uh, started blowing the circuit breaker and uh, the microwave part failed. There's magnetos in there and that was drawing too much current and it was shot. So it was time to replace it. The first challenge was finding an oven to replace it with. We searched on Amazon and we searched on various uh, websites and it turns out just by shopping around that actually Office Depot sells that unit in the same model number for about a hundred less than everybody else. So we ended up purchasing it through um, Office Depot. Once we uh, had it shipped to us the challenge then was is to get this beast installed. And it comes in a large box and do not throw the box out. You need the box to mount the unit. It kind of acts as a holding carriage for you so that you can tip it up. And what I mean by tipping it up is the microwave uh, convection oven that we have is over our range and it has three mounts on it. The first mount is a back plate that the microwave hangs on and then you tip it up and then underneath the air filter when you pull the screens off there's two long bolts that are about a foot and a half long and they go caddy corner from the front to the back of the unit and that mounts into the mounting bracket that's on the wall. And then there's two mounts on the roof part of the oven that hold it up firm up against the top unit whether it's a cabinet or a, a beam that we have. In our situation we don't have a cabinet above the microwave so the uh, original installation was onto a steel beam that goes across that's hidden by wood so you don't see it. So it's very well secured. We decided, or I decided, not to replace the back mounting panel unit. We just used the old one that was on it because it was in good shape and the gaskets were good. And it you know, saved a little bit of time as far as the installation goes and all the bolt holes matched and it fit the unit. So once we uh, get your box, unpack it, there's a, a diagram on the outside of the box. You cut it where, with a box knife and it forms a V as you'll see in the video. And that mount then holds the oven on an angle so you can tip it. And it does take two people. They're heavy units. They're about 60 pounds. So it's more than a one person task. And uh, so getting some help is advisable when installing it. It doesn't take long to get installed and it's a nice upgrade now because it's a brand new unit and it comes with uh, the new turntable which I saved the old one also in case it breaks and wire racks that has a short rack and a high rack for broiling and baking and we save the old racks also so we have extras if they um, happen to fail or break. Okay. After really studying this to try to figure out why the bolts weren't going through the top I discovered that the front plastic, the front wooden trim piece slides out. It's not even glued or nailed in. It's just sitting there. And then they modified a bracket that mounts to a piece of steel behind here. And there's two screws. So what I did was I tightened back up the lower bolts so it one drop down, removed those two screws. So now that if I take these two bolts out, the whole unit should angle down into this box and it'll drop down and I can slide it out. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to um, take it and get it so that it angles down and uh, comes out and sits into this box area. That plan worked. As you can see we undid it and the oven, Jen had to stop filming because she had to help me. We tipped it down into the box then we lifted it up and lowered it down on the floor. And you can see what I'm talking about, these mounting brackets that they put on. These are not on that unit, so we're going to have to figure out some way to get these mounting brackets to fit onto that unit the way they are. And that's going to be our next challenge. I'm going to have to measure the distance where it is from the front to the back. And then hopefully I'm going to try to manipulate the screw hole that they have there already instead of riveting it. Here they riveted it. And see if I can get to mount these on there somehow so I can go back onto this bracket that's up here. As you can see, the oven is up, and I'm sorry we couldn't film as we were doing it because Jen had to help me. It's heavy, it weighs about 70 pounds. But what we did was we rested the oven in the grooves here, just like we lowered it down when we took it in, 
and we put the back up on the track that's against the back wall and then we just lifted it up and there's two bolts underneath that go up on an angle that hold it now i have to secure the two brackets up top which i took off the old oven they were riveted they were riveted right here i drilled them out and i used the existing mounting hole which actually this one did not have and i used that and mounted those brackets so it fits in there pretty good so now i'm just going to put these screws in and jen's going to have to hold the oven up a little while i line it up so that we can get it mounted and then it'll be mounted underneath on a track two angle bolts going up on an angle to the back wall and then two screws into the metal channel on top so it should be secured very very well the oven we have mounted with the screws on the top we had to use a real long driver with a screwdriver to get back to it so we just kept putting extensions together to make that work and it's secure i'm satisfied with the way it's up the next thing i have to do is take the plug and there's a bracket up here that holds the wire against the back wall so it doesn't move so i'll do that as the very last thing but now i'm going to put all my trim back so that it looks nice and we're back in business again so I'll put this in, the piece on the front, and then do the electrical cord, then we'll plug it in and we can uh, start using a microwave and cooking again and doing some roasting and baking. Got the trim back up, the oven's in, light works, electrical's on, clock set, life is back good in our kitchen in the RV. Don't forget to, on the bottom, give us a like and subscribe because you never know what's gonna happen or what we're going to get into next. Life's always an adventure in the RV world. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.